What if I told you that we just witnessed the birth of artificial general intelligence in physical form? Not in some lab computer, but walking, thinking, and learning in a robot body that moves exactly like you do. Figure A. I just smashed every limit we thought stood between human intelligence and machine skills. And what they've achieved is so shocking that it completely changes what it means to be smart and aware in the 21st century. This is the big moment. The future didn't show up as some faraway AI in the cloud. It appeared as a 5 foot 6 inch robot that can watch you make breakfast and right away understand how to move around your whole house. We're not talking about narrow AI that plays chess or generates text. We're witnessing general intelligence that adapts, learns, and reasons across every domain of human experience, packed into a body that moves with human-level dexterity and intuition. Let me paint you a picture of what just happened in September 2025. While everyone was debating whether AI would replace jobs, figure AI was quietly building something that makes every previous robot look like a broken toy. Figure didn't just hit one breakthrough. They dropped three bombshells in September that locked together like puzzle pieces. And when you see the full picture, it's absolutely staggering. And one of those puzzle pieces is Project Go Big, a step big enough that it could mark the beginning of something new. Training humanoid robots by letting them learn directly from human video in real homes and workplaces. Figure AI's breakthrough doesn't just advance robotics, it fundamentally shatters our understanding of how intelligence can emerge and transfer between biological and artificial minds. Their Helix AI system achieved something that sounds like pure magic. It learned human-level navigation and reasoning by watching human video footage. No robot training data, no trial and error. Just pure, raw intelligence absorption that mirrors how human children learn by observation. But wait, it gets absolutely insane. Figure AI just announced they raised over $1 billion in Series C funding, pushing their valuation to a staggering $39 billion. Let that sink in. This company, founded just three years ago, is now worth more than most Fortune 500 companies. Investors like NVIDIA, Intel, and even Jeff Bezos are betting the farm that Figure AI has cracked the humanoid code. They're not just burning money on flashy demos. This cash is going into three critical areas. Scaling humanoid robots into homes and commercial spaces, building next-generation GPU infrastructure for training, and launching advanced data collection efforts. Cash is compute. Compute is training. Training is capability. They're building the foundation for robot intelligence at scale. Figure AI partnered with Brookfield Asset Management. And this isn't your typical tech partnership. Brookfield manages over $1 trillion in global assets and owns more than 100,000 residential units worldwide. They're giving Figure AI access to real homes, real environments, and real human behavior data at a scale that's never been attempted before. We're talking about 500 million square feet of commercial space and 160 million square feet of logistics facilities. This isn't just a business deal. This is Figure getting access to the ultimate training ground. They're capturing human video in these environments to build what they're calling the world's largest humanoid pre-training data set. If robots learn from our spaces, who owns the memory of your home? Because that's essentially what's happening here. Spaces become lessons, lessons become habits, habits become help. And that leads us to the absolute game changer, Project Go Big. September 18th brought news that sounds like pure science fiction. Figure's Helix system learned to navigate cluttered real-world spaces using nothing but egocentric human video. Zero robot demonstrations. Just watching how humans move through homes. No robot training data. No thousands of failed attempts. No hand-coded programming. They fed it egocentric human videos, basically footage from human perspective cameras. And the robot figured out how to walk to the kitchen, navigate around furniture, and respond to natural language commands like, go water the plants. Before we go any further, make sure you hit subscribe so you never miss the next wild robot update. Okay, now back to the video. This breakthrough demolishes every assumption about robot learning. Traditional robotics required expensive demonstrations, carefully controlled environments, and months of trial and error. Figure AI's approach is like showing a robot a YouTube video of someone walking through their house and the robot instantly knowing how to do the same thing. 
It's the equivalent of learning to drive by watching dash cam footage instead of taking driving lessons. But here's the craziest part about Project Go Big. When a robot walks to your intent based purely on watching humans, is it still a gadget or is it becoming something closer to a roommate? Because that's the question we're really grappling with here. The implications are absolutely staggering. CEO Brett Adcock dropped this bombshell on Twitter. I believe we're at the starting line of scaling synthetic humans to billions of units. Billions. We're not talking about a few thousand industrial robots. We're talking about humanoid companions in every home, every office, every warehouse on Earth. Let's zoom out and see what's really happening here. Figure A. I calls this project Go Big, and the name isn't marketing fluff. They're building the world's largest humanoid pre-training data set. Think of it like creating YouTube, but instead of cat videos, it's every possible human movement, navigation decision, and manipulation task across thousands of real environments. The Helix AI system processes all this data and transforms it into robot behavior that's indistinguishable from human decision-making. The technical breakthrough is mind-melting. One unified AI model now controls both delicate hand movements for loading dishwashers and full-body navigation through crowded spaces. Previous robots needed separate systems for different tasks. Figure 02 has one brain that does everything. It's like having a Swiss army knife, but instead of different tools, it's different human capabilities built into a single artificial mind. But here's where AGI humanoids transition from impressive to world-changing. Figure AI isn't just building robots that follow commands. They're creating machines that understand context, adapt to unexpected situations, and learn from every interaction. When you tell Figure 02 to go to the fridge, it doesn't follow a predetermined path. It evaluates the current environment, identifies obstacles, calculates the most efficient route, and adjusts in real time if something changes. The commercial deployment is already happening. Figure A. I has partnerships with BMW Manufacturing, and now with Brookfield's massive real estate portfolio, we're looking at robots entering homes, offices, and logistics centers within months, not years. This isn't a distant future scenario. This is next quarter's reality. The impossible just became inevitable. A GI humanoids aren't coming someday. They're here right now, learning from every video of human behavior ever recorded, preparing to integrate into society at a scale that'll make smartphones look like a minor technological upgrade. They created a new species of artificial intelligence that thinks, moves, and adapts like humans, but never gets tired, never makes mistakes, and never stops learning. We're witnessing the birth of synthetic humans, and the world is about to change faster than anyone predicted. The age of AGI humanoids has officially begun, and figure AI just proved the impossible is now inevitable. Are you ready for robots that don't just work alongside humans, but think and move exactly like them? Because this is only the beginning. The story doesn't end with figure. The spotlight now shifts to Tesla and its Optimus program. Elon Musk has already said Optimus could be 80% of Tesla's future value, and Master Plan Part 4 hints at scaling humanoids to a level that could reshape the entire global economy. So as Figure pushes AGI into homes, Tesla is preparing its own army of humanoids, and the race to define the future of synthetic humans has only just begun. What if I told you that Elon Musk just dropped a bombshell that could reshape civilization as we know it? I'm talking about Tesla's master plan part four, and this isn't about cars anymore. This is about humanoid robots taking over the world's labor force. We're talking about Optimus, Tesla's game-changing robot that Musk believes will make up 80% of Tesla's entire value. That's not a typo, 80%. Hold on to your seats, because what I'm about to show you will blow your mind. Tesla just released Master Plan Part 4, and it's completely different from everything they've done before. The first three plans were about cars and energy. This one? It's a manifesto about artificial intelligence taking over the physical world. Musk calls it sustainable abundance. Think of it as a world where robots do all the boring and dangerous work while humans focus on what they love. The plan is simple, but revolutionary. 
Use AI, robotics, autonomy, and clean energy to remove bottlenecks in labor, mobility, and electricity. The result? Society can do more with fewer resource constraints. Here's the core idea that's sending shockwaves through the tech world. Tesla is reframing its entire mission from sustainable energy to sustainable abundance. This isn't just corporate speak. They're talking about using cutting-edge technology to eliminate scarcity itself. Musk believes growth is infinite and that innovation removes constraints. For centuries, humans rode horses until cars changed everything. Tesla did the same thing with electric vehicles, proving that battery technology could replace fossil fuels. Now they're applying that same breakthrough thinking to human labor itself. The goal is creating a world where advanced technology is affordable and available at massive scale. Let's break down the three pillars that will make this vision reality. First, there's labor. And this is where Optimus comes in as the absolute game changer. Tesla's humanoid robot is designed to handle all the monotonous and dangerous tasks that humans currently do. Musk isn't holding back with his predictions. He said Optimus will be able to play the piano and thread a needle with precision that nobody has ever achieved before. The next generation will have 22 degrees of freedom in its hands alone. But here's the staggering part. Musk believes Tesla could produce these robots for about $10,000 each and sell them for $20,000. At that scale, he's projecting Tesla could make about a trillion dollars in profit annually from Optimus alone. The second pillar focuses on mobility through autonomous vehicles and robo-taxis. Tesla plans to make transportation cheaper, safer, and more available using their full self-driving technology. Instead of owning cars, People will summon autonomous vehicles whenever they need them. This transforms transportation from ownership to service. The third pillar is energy, combining solar generation with power wall and mega pack storage systems. The goal is powering homes, businesses, and entire grids more reliably and affordably than ever before. But here's the crazy part about Tesla's robot obsession. Musk recently declared that approximately 80% of Tesla's worth will come from Optimus. Let that sink in. The company that revolutionized electric vehicles now believes its future lies in humanoid robots. During Tesla's 2024 shareholder meeting, Musk said the most important product development they're working on isn't a new car, it's the Optimus robot. He believes it has the potential to be more significant than Tesla's entire vehicle business over time. We're talking about a complete transformation of what Tesla actually is. The technical capabilities Musk is promising sound like science fiction. He claims Optimus will achieve precision levels that exceed current robotics by orders of magnitude. The robot will be able to perform delicate tasks requiring human-level dexterity while being physically controllable by people. Musk emphasized they're designing it so you can run away from it and overpower it if needed. He specifically said they don't want to go down the Terminator path. Safety is built into the robot's physical design, not just its software. Here's where the numbers get absolutely mind-blowing. Musk envisions producing robots at an unprecedented scale. He's talking about ramping Optimus production faster than anything has ever been ramped in manufacturing history. His goal is an order of magnitude increase in production every single year. We're talking about going from thousands to millions of units annually. Eventually, he sees billions of humanoid robots globally, with a two-to-one ratio of robots to humans or even higher. The market potential? He's projecting that Optimus alone could generate $10 trillion in revenue. But here's what makes this different from typical tech hype. Tesla isn't starting from scratch. They've spent nearly two decades building the manufacturing expertise, AI capabilities, and battery technology needed for this robot revolution. Their full self-driving neural networks will power Optimus's intelligence. Their gigafactories will manufacture the robots at scale. Their energy products will power the robot workforce. Everything connects in Tesla's ecosystem approach. The philosophical rails behind Master Plan Part 4 reveal Musk's deeper vision. He believes growth isn't zero-sum, meaning innovation expands opportunities for everyone rather than creating winners and losers. Technology solves tangible problems, and autonomy must benefit all of humanity. Greater access drives greater growth by making advanced products affordable at massive scale. 
These aren't just business principles. They're the foundation for reshaping civilization itself. What's remarkable is how Musk's timeline predictions have evolved. In 2021, he promised prototypes by 2022 and useful robots by 2023. In 2024, he shifted to limited production in 2025 and high production by 2026. Now in 2025, he's targeting several thousand units for internal Tesla use, with external sales beginning late 2026. The vision has remained consistent, even as the timeline adjusts to engineering realities. The implications go far beyond Tesla's business model. Musk describes this as a fundamental transformation for civilization as we know it. He envisions a future where physical work will be a choice rather than an economic necessity. Dangerous manufacturing jobs, repetitive assembly work, and hazardous tasks could all be handled by robots. Humans would focus on creative, strategic, and interpersonal work that machines can't replicate. Critics argue that Master Plan Part 4 reads more like philosophy than a concrete roadmap. Unlike previous plans that announce specific vehicles and timelines, this document is heavy on vision and light on measurable milestones. Tech outlets have called it inspirational, but thin on details. The proof will come through actual deployments, regulatory approvals, and scaling production beyond prototypes. Here's what we need to watch to see if this vision becomes reality. First, Optimus needs to demonstrate real dexterity improvements, moving from basic tasks to complex factory work. Second, Tesla must show they can manufacture thousands of units reliably and cost-effectively. Third, regulatory approval for widespread robot deployment in workplaces will be crucial. Finally, the economics must prove that robots can actually replace human labor at the projected costs. The stakes couldn't be higher. If Musk is right, we're looking at the biggest transformation in how work gets done since the Industrial Revolution. If he's wrong, Tesla might be betting its future on science fiction rather than practical engineering. Either way, Tesla Master Plan Part 4 represents the most ambitious corporate vision statement of our time. We're not just talking about building better products. We're talking about rebuilding civilization itself around artificial intelligence and robotics. The question isn't whether this sounds impossible. The question is whether Tesla can actually pull it off. What do you think? Is this the future of work? Or is Musk promising too much too soon? Drop your thoughts in the comments and make sure to subscribe because this robot revolution is just getting started.